Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to, where I'm going to review, review a couple of things. First of all is the deployment models uh, within Azure, okay? And uh, we're also going to take a look at the resource providers, okay? So this is, uh, this is important concepts that you should uh, know for, for exam certification and for your own work as well. So let's, if you think about the deployment models, we really have two deployment models. One is called the classic model. Another is called the resource manager, okay? Resource manager model, okay? Maybe say call the classic model. Now, the classic model is the old way of doing stuff, okay? So if you compare this to resource model, this is the new way of doing stuff. The classic model, uh, before I do anything, you can, you can just go to the Azure and say you want to deploy a virtual machine, okay? So if you keep, click on the virtual machine, the top one, you see the this virtual machine, there is no classic or anything written to it. But if you come down, somewhere down there, here's another virtual machine and it says classic in parentheses, right? So look for maybe a storage account, okay? So here again, you have a storage account. And if you come down a little bit below, you have the storage account classic. And if you notice the other differences, the icons, they're also different. The old one got a little bit of different icon to represent the storage account. The newer versions, they have a newer icon as well. And if you look at it, there, you know, the classic will show up under virtual, uh, under different type of resources. So these are the old way of doing stuff. So what's uh, what's change? What's 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 so great about the new model? So the new resource manager model, they're really JSON objects, okay? Mm -hmm. And this these are intelligent, mm -hmm. meaning so if you have a deployment, uh, it can knows it knows about the dependencies. So say you are deploying a virtual machine, so it knows that it's going to be dependent on a virtual network card or network and all that kind of stuff. And it will deploy them in order. Okay, old uh, you manage, you manage deploy men of dependent resources, dependent resources. Okay, so that's not uh, not not intelligent. Okay, you have to independently deploy if you want to get rid of. One thing you have to go there independently get rid of get rid of something from the resource manager. If you get rid of a virtual machine, it will also get rid of all the dependent uh, uh, stuff that that is completely tied to the virtual machine itself. Okay, and this one you can also use tagging uh, to associate with the with the billing, and uh, most of the time uh, you have a great big source of a free JSON template so like if I sh free uh, templates for Azure okay github so in the github there are hundreds of free templates Azure quick trust template is what they are called okay so you can go there here is a link let me put it over here okay so you can get all of these templates okay you can look at the creating DNA zone, NSG, virtual network full, uh, all of this Linux, VM Linux create, okay, all of that, uh, you can use it. And again, as I said, all of these, these are JSON files, so you just look at it. Most of the time, they will have a deploy file and a parameter file, and you can read more of them from here. Now, that's about the deployment model that we have. Uh, but to deploy something, uh, you, you, you you gotta create a resource group every single deployment that happens with this new model you gotta have a resource group resource group is a container where you put all of your resources okay like if I go back again to my uh, Azure look for the resource group I click on it so I have multiple different resources right so let's say let's say taste lab RG is my resource container so what I can, I can keep all the related resources under this particular uh, particular resource group. 
So when I delete this resource group, all of these components that are related can be deleted at the same time. Okay. So to create a resource group, you just come over here, okay, resource groups, and you just say add. And it's going to just give you a very simple blade. And you just say new resource group. Okay, whatever name you want. And it's going to choose, uh, say, particular location. And you're going to create. Now, does although I'm creating this in West US 2, doesn't mean that I can only deploy resources in the West US only. I can deploy resources to anywhere I like. Okay. So just to prove that, so since I have this new resource group, now I can add a resource. Say I wanna deploy a key vault, okay? And uh, key vault use, well, I can create in it. My goal is to show it in a different region. Like it's now says uh, uh, East US, right? So I can say a name. East US KV is the name already in use one two three okay so that is the name that I said and uh, what I'm gonna do you could configure other things but I'm just gonna prove that although the resource group itself I said uh, created in the West US I can create a resource that is in another Azure region as well so this is doing its stuff okay so uh, so it's, you see the deployment is underway and it, it will be done in a second. So another thing that I wanted to go over in this video is if you go and click on it and get click on this little tiny icon for the cloud shell, it will open up either the power shell or the bash. So let's stick to the power shell window just for a second. And here the deployment is uh, by the way successful. We can take a look at it in a little bit. So get say easy resource uh, provider provider okay so if I run this command get easy resource provider what it is going to tell, tell me is all the providers okay that are available uh, within my Azure environment okay they have they're giving you four different parameters for the resource providers so provider namespace registration state so some of the providers may not be registered in your environment. If you need to use them, you may have to go in and register a provider so you can deploy resources that a particular provider provides, okay? So if, you, if I just kind of look through, I'm looking for something that may be not registered. Looks like most of them stuff that I have in this environment, they're, they're automatically registered um, in my, in my, um, in my Azure subscription that I have. Now, uh, if you're interested in one particular one, you can do some more stuff, but the best thing to learn about the resource provider is to go to Google and uh, go to, and just say, just type Azure resource provider and you will come to this page, which is Azure documentation and everybody should be very comfortable uh, going to the Azure portal following the documentation. So if you come over here, this page is going to give you a lot of information about uh, what is a resource provider and here's the two key aspects the name of the resource type is usually in the format of resource provider and then resource type so if you go over here resource provider is uh, Microsoft support and then you have uh, something after that uh, that what is it going to provide Okay, it may provide multiple different things. But we'll take a look into that. Here, they're giving an example where Microsoft Key Vaults and it's providing the Vault resource for you. Okay, so uh, from Azure as well, we can uh, go and see all the resources that are available. So they're saying on the Azure portal, go to all services. So from here, you can go back now this uh, view that it, that experience that we have it's still there but it's kind of hidden these days so you just have to click on this show portal menu okay that is now going to give you all of that blades that you see in this particular article so they are asking us to go to all services so all you need to do is uh, all resources let me see if they still have all services anywhere yeah here all services just click on that one and it should take you 
to this view where you have all the services okay so from here all services enter subscription and then select subscription okay so here subscription and select subscription where is my subscription and select subscription i don't have exactly that particular view maybe let's see what what are they talking about in the box inter subscription okay so maybe they're asking us to search for this particular resource okay so let's copy this one coming come over here in the search box do the subscription and there we go so this is what they're asking us to do so click on subscription so now it's telling you the subscription that I have is active. This is my subscription ID. This is the name of the subscription. Um, what else can you do? And in this, select the subscription from the subscription list to view and select the resource provider and view the list of the available resource providers. So from here, you can click this subscription. Okay, so that is giving you more details about this particular subscription, like my role, offer ID and all of that stuff and resource provider uh, should be right right down over here okay resource providers Did you see that so if you now click on this one so this view is going to list all the resource providers that we just saw with our uh, CLI command okay so those are also available in in over here maybe you are a, you like to use the portal I too like to use the portal a lot, although I like the CLA as well. So you can look at it, and here is the what I was talking about. There, there could be other resource or providers that are not registered, like over here. Okay, a lot of them. And uh, from the from this view, if I want to register something, I can just click on it, and if you see, the register button shows up. Okay, so I can click on that one, and it's now it's showing that this product this feature or this provider is being registered okay so the registration process has started once it's registered it will show up as green okay let's try it in one another one maybe microsoft data box can i do that okay so i said it this one is also said registering and if i go back a little this Microsoft Blueprint is still being registered, okay, but that's kind of all I needed to show you over here. Oh, they also chose Microsoft Blueprint. All right, good. So um, they are also saying the click that register link to uh, register yourself. So to see information for a particular resource provider, what do you want to do? So you can go to all services, then Resource Explorer, okay, then select the resource explorer so, so last time what we did we went to the subscription so you can go back to all services again instead of looking for subscription you can look for the resource explorer okay so that is also comes as a service so the resource explorer shows up so you just click on that one so once you are here you have all the providers in here and all the subscription they are listed over here as well right so uh, what we need to do Okay, click on that menu expand the providers okay so that's what we did and in this one expand the resource provider and a resource type that you want to view so say we try to enable the blueprint so let's see the blueprint is already available in here or we do need to wait for a little bit longer no blueprint looks like it's here so if I now click on that one okay it's uh, all the resources that this particular provider provides are showing up over here. operations blueprints persons artifacts blueprints persons blueprints artifacts blueprints and all of that stuff okay so let's come back over here um, here they're looking at uh, Microsoft batch you don't have to, I'm not going to do every single thing but it it's again it's a it's a JSON object and uh, if I click on it and you can look at it and you can read uh, how these objects are defined okay so that's pretty cool all right let's come over here so that's kind of what I kind of wanted to show uh, we have already given you uh, the command so you can do a little bit better command if you want uh, instead of getting the results as a JSON output if we run this 
this is going to give you uh, your output in a much nicer format so let's click on this one uh, list available select object provider name. now look at that so this is now in a tabular format so this is also exactly what we had on our portal so you have all the providers that are registered and if you need to register something you also have over here uh, let's uh, let's go back uh, where are we here we are still reviewing so here so if you know need to know about any particular uh, more information maybe any particular provider you can also run this command I'm going to put it in, in my notepad as well so let's see what happens if we run that command so if you come down to the bottom and if you say you are doing Microsoft let's do Microsoft maybe compute okay so if I do this uh, so this is my little bit more information about that whether it's registered resource type what locations uh, this feature is now available to me at this time okay so let's go back you can unregister a resource provider when you still have resource types from the resource provider in your subscription so this is very important just remember that if you want if you're not using a provider or if you want to unregister but if you still have a have a resource that using a provider you cannot unregister okay uh, so we have looked all that uh, to see the resource type for a particular resource so we kind of looked into all that if you want you can spend some more time I'm going to give the link to this particular uh, link as well just for a reference and you can do the same thing with Azure CLI as well um, if your CLI coming from uh, Linux background AZ provider list and query and you can do the same thing so again I'm not going to do this but this is kind of what I wanted to cover in this particular video. Um, just know that not all all providers are by default active or registered within your Azure environment and there might be cases where you're trying to deploy and you have an error that the resource provider is not registered. If you see something like that, you can go on always uh, register the provider for you and uh, have a successful deployment. Okay, I think that's enough for the video. If you have any questions, please uh, leave it as a comment. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching.